Hi, my name is Bradley Bierman. I'm assistant professor of musical theater at West Texas A&M, and I'm the director of the Theory of Relativity, which you're going to see at the Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival here in 2021. So the Theory of Relativity was a show that took the place of a larger Golden Age musical that we had planned for the fall, and we held on to that hope for much of the summer that perhaps we were going to be able to present the musical. But midsummer, it became clear that we needed a new choice. The ability for us to present the Theory of Relativity came about a little bit out of necessity, but it proved to be a choice for us that allowed us to present something that might be a little more unique, that allowed us to rehearse it safely and allowed us to, to give the students something that was in a first-person college voice. This show is designed to be presented for college students and that was very appealing to us. The concept for this show started with the theory of relativity itself. Energy equals mass times speed of light squared. And so one of the ways that this theory can be described is that gravity is not just a force between two things, but that gravity can bend time space around it and that a larger gravitational impact affects that in a larger setting. It, it warps time and space to a greater extent. And so one of the ways that this, this image or this concept can be described is that if you imagine a blanket, if you imagine a quilt and you put a ball on top of it, the, the weight of that will affect the quilt and bend that. And of course, the heavier the, the ball on there, like if you had a bowling ball versus a ping pong, there's gonna be a greater effect on that. Our guiding image then became the quilt. First of all, the idea of, of piecing something together was something that was going to mimic what this process was. We were going to have to film this in pieces, we were going to have to record it, the audio in different chunks, and, and to be able to sew it together. In addition to that, the idea of quilt blocks very much mirrored our lives right now. It's, it's, it mirrored the Zoom grid that we were so familiar with these days. But in addition to that, the, the quilt also represented that, that grid from the scientific diagram. And so I had tasked our scenic designer with creating basically a void. And so we created a liminal space in which we could film things that, that seemed to be outside of time and space. If we, if we had a memory song, then that would be filmed in the, in the theater space, in the liminal space. But other things that felt a little more immediate were going to be filmed elsewhere. They were going to be more of the captured um, or the guerrilla style filming, um, or, or maybe even just have some more uh, location specific um, representations. Obviously, COVID has been a giant factor in the way that we were able to present this. Um, we rehearsed this show in a much smaller um, setting. Uh, we either broke up people into uh, smaller groups or we rehearsed them in much larger spaces. So we, we anytime we had large things to rehearse, we would rehearse it in the grand lobby. We would rehearse it in, in outs, you know, outside. Um, it, it helped us to, to adapt to the ways that we needed to. In terms of the group shoot days, we really only had one giant shoot day that involved the entire cast. The rest of it was broken up into considerably smaller sections. And that allowed us to, to keep a safe number within our playing spaces and within our studios, and also just simply the gathering of people was limited in that regard. We were very lucky in this process to collaborate with the School of Music and also our communications department. So our soundtrack for this became a, a project that our students were able to go into the recording studio at the School of Music and to be able to lay down vocals for this, this project. It was a very exciting time for them. It was very nerve-wracking. It was a new process for most of them, but it gave them a set of of skills that they will definitely be taking with them. One thing that I really resisted in this process and, and laid out this challenge for our cast and our crew at the beginning was that I didn't want us to feel as if we were simply going to be creating content. I, I did not feel that that was going to be a representative word for this process. I still wanted us to be creating 
art. I still wanted us for, uh, for that art to be saying something. And I know that might sound a little haughty or perhaps even in 2020, 2021, kind of what's the difference? You know, there is a, a more of a blurring of that line these days. But I do hope that we were able to present something that allowed our audiences to feel something more than just content. This was the first digital performance to be presented by the WT Theatre Department, but I do not feel it will be our last. We found a lot of value in this process, and we are looking for ways to use these skills and hone these skills for the future.